Louis realized they'd stumbled upon an important clue. But what did it mean? While Walt was in Italy and Helen and Frank were making measurements, I sat in this chair here for about six or eight weeks, reading books on astrophysics and trying to understand what could have brought in the iridium and also killed the animals. And I went through a lot of scenarios. Some of them were so wild I wouldn't even dare mention what they were, but I remember thinking at the time each of them looked pretty good. He would come up with them. These would be uh, talked about, evaluated with respect to how well they agreed with what was known of the physics of the situation and discarded. After about a month and a half, he came up with one that uh, none of us could knock down, and that's the one that we're working on now. Well, if you take an asteroid that's about uh, six miles in diameter and have it bump into the Earth, it will vaporize itself and also vaporize perhaps uh, 50 times as much uh, crustal material, and that will be thrown up high. Some of it will go into uh, low Earth orbits. Some of it will be turned into dust. Much of it will eventually end up as dust in the stratosphere and be spread worldwide. And it will block out the light. And that's the key. It's the blockage of the light that kills the plants, that kills the phytoplankton that sits on the surface of the ocean and that feeds the fish and now, of course, feeds the whales. All of that dies for lack of sunlight. So the food chains are disrupted. The animals die of starvation. The world laid waste by a cosmic collision. Such catastrophes do occur. 